so I want to give a quick update on my heat pump. We haven't talked about this in a while. Um, I have an air source heat pump to heat my home, which isn't necessarily newsworthy. Heat pumps are essentially a, a proven technology okay. at this point. It's a it's an air. But if you're new to the show, yeah. <laughs> if you're new to the show, you must know that Brian lives in a bloody cold yes, place. Exactly. Where we are broadcasting from. Um, what did it get down to? Well, we had wind chills in the minus 30. Like it felt like yeah. minus 30 Celsius and God knows what Fahrenheit. Yeah. Uh, so it can get bloody cold here. And you are a, a scientific leader, an experimenter of, uh, of uh, testing to see how this will work. You've put your own money into it and you're testing out how a heat pump works in our unpleasantly cold climate. And heat pumps generally only get down into the minus 20s before... You need a backup, right? Yeah. I mean, generally speaking, although there's some advancements going on that are extending that a little bit. But um, so what's happening? You've had some problems just with the technology, just because, you know, firmware updates and everything. Yeah, and, and slight problems. But first, let me address that thing of, so my unit is supposed to work down to about minus 22 Celsius. And then there's a backup resistive heater, which is essentially a 10,000 watt heater simple mechanism not efficient yeah, not, not efficient, efficient but it's an electric furnace basically and it, it kicks a in. heat pump moves heat from outdoors in even in cold weather yeah. and that is efficient sometimes three sometimes even four they say yeah times efficient but the issue with as normal heat pumps as you say they tend to work down there's some now that work down to minus 30 but i think as they get to that minus 30 they're essentially working they lose their efficiency so at, when it's down at minus 30 you're essentially it's the same efficiency as a sort of an old-fashioned electric heater so you know once you hit the minus 20s those advantages uh, start to go away and of course an air source heat pump is basically just a, a air conditioner that can run in reverse if you take a window unit air conditioner the old-fashioned kind and you just install it backwards the back element will literally heat your house. It'll heat your room. Um, so, you know, you can use the same idea to to heat your house with a, a heat pump. So this is the second winter that I've had it. And it's basically worked, but we had some ice buildup this time. And this is odd to me because it didn't happen last winter. But there's an outdoor unit that looks like an outdoor air conditioning unit. And it's got a big fan and the whole thing, the fan is vertical. And... There was just a time where... Some of them have de-icers on them, right? Like some of them will have a heating element to go on every so often. Yeah. What it has is a defrost cycle. So what it can do is reverse the fluids. So it can put the warm fluids to the outside unit to, to try and defrost it. Um, but I'm not sure how well that works. It, it, it would be maybe a good idea if it had some kind of a little... Um, you know, I talked with my installer and he said, well, maybe if it continues to be a problem, we could put some heat tape on there. People use heat tape sometimes. If you've got pipes that, that freeze, you can wrap this, you know, tape around it with an electrical connection and just sort of heat up. Um, so yeah, it was just weird because there were three days in a row where it really kind of iced up and the, and the fan stopped spinning because there was just a little bit too much ice in there. So you get an error message on the thermostat and then you go outside and you realize that, you know, Oh, there's a bit of ice buildup. So it's not that big a deal to get rid of. You basically open the door on the unit and then you, you know, just with a, you know, a wrench or something, you just bang off the ice and, you know, it takes a few minutes, but you get rid of all the ice, you close it up and then it's fine. It's just weird that it did it three days in a row because it didn't do it at all last winter. I Weather. Yeah. So where, where is the El Nino? Is that it's what it the, is? Is the El Nino. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. We're getting a lot of snow this year. I think we have had more snow already. Yeah. yeah. Than we, we had a lot of last snow. year, maybe the last two years, yeah. like it's crazy. But I thought it might have something to do with the humidity or the dew point or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. we, we've had fog, yeah. so that's kind of a thing. Like when you have fog, then you're getting probably deposits on, you know, and you have to scrape it off your window. Maybe it builds up on the heat pump elements yeah. as well. And that's not typically... Because it's blowing air through, and the more air it blows, the more moisture it blows if it is moist out. Yeah, and, you know, the fan, it's got little... Uh, teeth on the edges of it so it's supposed to be able to like cut a little bit of ice it sort of looks like it's prepared for that um wow. but yeah it did it three days in a row and then it didn't do it since even though the temperatures were kind of similar so yeah it's just something to do with the humidity or the dew point or something like that The Clean Energy Show 